weekend. Beat him 2 0. Last friendly before the season starts. Um, Lejeune and St. Maxim got on a score sheet. Uh, I'm not too sure if you've seen any of the goals or the performances, but um, overall, looks all right. Obviously, beat Hull City, so it's not like we're beating Manchester City or anything like that, so don't get too excited. But yeah, did any of you guys catch it at all? I watched one game we played on our training ground, bro. I was, I was confused. <laughs> Why are you confused, bro? Why are you confused? I was like, bro, where is this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know our training ground looks like a dumpster, innit? So, no, no. <laughs> it looked mad. I was like, what is this? This is a matting. We played Middlesbrough, didn't we? Yeah, we played. Yeah. That was the second game. The first game was playing ourselves. Then we played Borough. And then this last game, we played Hull City. So, it's all like, well, nothing. Sorry. I no. think I saw the Borough goals. I didn't see the, the whole game, but I didn't see it. I just... I saw, I saw we won 2-0, yeah. and they said Joe Linton did a madness in one game. Hold on. I wouldn't <laughs> say madness. I would say he did a Joe Linton. But hey, fam, <laughs> I saw the headline in it and then jumped on the thing. When I saw the way it was, I was like, fuck out of here, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, you got, you got, you got, what are you saying? You got, no. Yeah, um, I, I saw the whole game. Um, for me, it just... It just looks like a preseason friendly to me. Yeah. Like it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't give me. It doesn't give me any hopes for for next Sunday. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't give me any inkling of, of, of how we're going to perform. Um, it, obviously, you can only see it from a, from short clips. There wasn't, a, as far as I'm aware, there wasn't like a full ninety minutes um, viewing or or a long sort of sort of extended highlights or whatever. But from what you saw, it just seemed like players were just kind of going through the motions. Um, nice to see Lejeune score and some good delivery from Shelby. And yeah, it just seemed it just it just seemed like a preseason friendly. Like it just these games are not giving me any indication of how we're going to perform on Sunday at Sheffield United at all. It, it, it's purely for fitness more than anything. Um, we're not playing our strongest team. Uh, we've got players that are starting those games that, are, that shouldn't be anywhere near the starting lineup come next weekend. So it's hard to, from my point of view, I think it's hard to judge. Um, it's nice to see, like I say, Joe Linton score a couple of goals. It was nice to see St. Maximin with a nice finish. Um, it was a nice little finish there. Um, and the one thing I'll take, actually, one thing I'll take out of those, those three performances is that for some of the goals, the deliveries from wide have been decent. Yeah, um, I noticed that. And, like, um, even, uh, even in the training clips, Yedlin's actually crossing the ball. I'm like, what? Yedlin's crossing it, it, And now and, and I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the positives out of that. That's the one thing that I really take away is that we seem like we're getting balls into the box, but we need, we need men getting in there. And it seems like, particularly for set maximum's goal, that we were getting men into the box. The one thing that uh, Steve Bruce said in his interview afterwards, that he wasn't particularly happy with the defending set pieces against the ball. Which is a little bit of a worry because um, Sheffield United like to get balls into the box, particularly from the corners and free kicks. So if they're not defending them well, then that's a little bit of a worry. But then again, Lascelles is one of our strongest in that position and wasn't there because obviously his misses have just had a or they've just had a baby boy. So um, yeah, like I say, it doesn't really it doesn't really give me too much. One thing we have been doing though, we've been keeping like the same similar formation. So. Um... I mean, we've been playing Mankio wide right. I don't know why that is, but at least we're trying to keep to a similar sort of formation. So when we're going into the game against Sheffield United, it's not looking mm. too out of sorts. Um, but yeah, what's your thoughts, Emeka? Well, I didn't watch it. I've not watched the highlights. I've not seen the goals. It's just not interesting. It's not it's just, it's a training session. Mm. It's literally, it's training. So uh, that game just didn't interest me whatsoever. Um, I, like I said, I, the only thing I listened to, I listened to Bruce's comments at the end and um, I just sort of looked at the team to see what sort of formation we're playing. Um, and you're right, yeah, so it looks like we're going to stick with the four at the back rather than go back to that flat back five that we were playing before. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I say, those friends that we had, it, it, the, the, the team was going to be totally different come next weekend. The team, the performance, you can just tell it was just like, it was slow. So I slow, even, just that. I didn't even recognize man. I was like, when, when we get him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did, you, did any of you guys see that picture of Danny Rose though? 
He's looking a bit tubby ish. Oh, he's, he's big. Yeah, yeah. Man, he needs big. to go, man. He needs to go. He's I know big, as man. soon as you've seen that from I was thinking, oh, boy. Yeah. He needs to go, man. I can see already it's going to be a problem, you know. It's going to be a problem already. I can see it. The, the one downside is, is it's all we've got. Because Dominic can't, Dominic can't, make Dominic can't play. Dominic can't play. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. He can't play. So we've only right. got one left back unless we, unless we, if we need to, we drop Richie there. He's not really a left back. He yeah, but he's good though. Back. But Richie can play left wing back. But yeah, left wing back. Yeah, but even, yeah. Like left back. You he can't play left back, man. Is a different type of position. So you're restricted there. I mean, you've got, you've got Kieran Clark that, that can play there because he's left footed, but he, he's better as a centre back. And he's not giving us nothing going forward. Yeah, and he's not. He's not. So it, 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 we we'll, we'll put ourselves in a little bit of a position there. <laughs> and um, Danny Rose is definitely taking advantage of the fact that he knows he's going to be playing every game regardless of how fit he is. Um, I'm I knew hoping... we, I knew it when we were alone in me. I knew, this is me. This guy's gonna come with problems, man. I just know it. <laughs> like, I knew it. Like you know what? He didn't want to come back to football anyway, and he was already moaning, "Oh, this is our life at stake." So that's why he's not done any training. Clearly, he was just trying to say, "Oh shit, I ain't been training. Like, I can't come back to football." Like there's just gonna be a struggle for us on the left hand side. I could just see. But, 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 no, no. You know what? Them them camera angles can get the best of us, man. That might have been a bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? That's all of us. Are you trying to say that the camera has fifty pounds? How many how many cameras is on him? Bro, he can't be that big. Like if if he was that big, then Bruce would have he wouldn't have played him, man. Do you look you good though on the pitch? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. All I've been look, this period of time has not painted Danny Rose in, in the best of light, despite what he's been saying, if you agree with him or not. Like on and off the pitch, it's not been great for him. But when I'm seeing those pictures, fans are Killing him in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, though, to be fair though, Emmy's got a point because um, right in the beginning when players were starting to train again, they, they tried doing the same with Mitrovic. I don't know if you saw it with, with Fulham in their first training session back. They they got a camera angle of him, a picture of him, and he looked. To be fair, he looked massive, and everyone was hammering him, hammering him. Then about fifteen minutes later, uh, someone else. Put another picture of him in the same training session with his top off, and he was absolutely ripped. So it was like it, 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 you don't you, you don't really know. Like you know what the media are like; they can get they can get the angle that they want to sell the story that they want. Yeah, so yeah. If they want, if they want to show a picture yeah. of someone in a particular way, they will do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Because they know the shop then, yeah. And I'm not saying it's Photoshop, but but at certain angles, at certain angles, like people will can look bigger than what they actually are. Like I say, if you if you go back, it'll probably still be on Twitter somewhere. There's a picture of Mitrovic um, in the middle of training. I think he's going up for a ball or something, and he does genuinely look big. Like in the, in the actual picture, it's not Photoshop or anything, but he just looks big. But then in the same training session, he's got his top off. I think part way through. And he's absolutely ripped. Like there's nothing on it, but it just depends on the angle and the photo at that particular time. So hey, you know, Pete, that that jersey looks tough on you, man. Seriously, like I'm trying, I, I just I just been looking at it thinking, when did we when did we get that one? <laughs> that's the one. That's the that's the that's the, that's the it one. Looks that sick. one yeah. that's the original one. Uh, it looks yeah. tough. When did we rock that? <laughs> Damn, I'm about to go and get one. That's looking right. When did you run that one? <laughs> I need to get it. I love it. I love right, it. so guys, if you're Bruce and we're playing Sheffield United tomorrow, who are we going with? I think we can all agree without fail to grab Britain goals. But again, back four. Do we have options on that? I mean, we don't have <laughs> options anyway. But no. goalkeeper can fix itself. Defence, right? For me, I'm going to go with you, defence. Talk me through defence. Is the shells fit or is he just, is he not going to play? No, no, no. he's fit. He's, um, he's just like a baby, isn't it? That's why he missed the weekend's game. And we're playing a flat back four now, aren't we? Yeah, yeah I think so. I'd go with Led- Ledlin at right back because, oh, oh man, I'll go with him at right back unless Mankilo's fit. And then we just play Mankilo at right back because I like him going forward. I like Ledlin because he's quick. Because he's able yeah. to, because you know, we, we always turn the ball over. He's able to catch. Somebody on the run back, right? I mean, on the left hand side, oh my god, <laughs> Danny Rose. <laughs> Sorry, bro. That hurt you, man. <laughs> hurt hard. Hurt hard. <laughs> I hurt you, really. 
Danny Rose, you know. You know the worst part? He hasn't even played enough games to know how the team plays. So we're still just bedding him in, yeah. technically. Yeah. Centre back, I'd go with um, Lachelle's and Lejeune. I like Lejeune in it if he's if he's if he's a good defender, um, and he can also get as a, you know in the corners and stuff like that. And that's a, a mean Shaw. I think Shaw's got a bit cocky, like he's he's got to his head a bit. Do you know what I mean? He's trying to shoot from fifty yards every single chance he gets. I, I, I wouldn't play Shaw. I mean, yeah. personally, I, yeah. I, I personally I wouldn't play Shaw. Yeah, he wasn't playing. He wasn't playing before. Uh, before the, um, they, they stopped playing uh, back in March, he wasn't playing then. He was on the bench. Um, obviously, you've met, you mentioned Lejeune, but Fernandez was playing again with, uh, alongside yeah, um, yeah. Lascelles. Time and they 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 were sort of a, a building a decent partnership. Even Kieran uh, Clark. Kieran, well, Kieran Clark was 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 out for the majority of the season. He's now back. He's now back. And I who's the other fit. defender we had so, with them? Um, um, scored a couple of goals. It wasn't Lejeune, was it? So got... Yeah, Lejeune. Fernandez, Fernandez. Fernandez, Fernandez Lejeune, Clark, they've all scored this season, those three. Was Clark out? Was Clark out again? Was, do you know, I forgot yeah. the season, it just seems blurred. Because Clark just, was balling. Yeah, he, he, he got bad injuries. So him and Dummett were, were pretty much missing the season. Like Dummett, if the season was finished normally, Dummett wouldn't have been able to come back in the season, which is why they took him out of the 25-man squad. Right. Clark stayed in because I think Clark was due to get back at the end of April, so he would have got the last couple of games of the season. So they kept him in. So I think both of them are obviously fit now. Dummett can't play, but Clark still can. So, But why are we not playing the 5-3-2? Because... I like the three men and the two wingers and the guy up front. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait from me. Listen, we can't take it away from Emmy, man. Let Emmy have the midfield in it. I know you're, you're, trying, to, you're, trying, to, you're trying to take over the thing in it. Right, 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 right. Four, four. That's my back four. If we had a flat back four. All right, Emmy. Mankilo, no, Yedlin, thingy and thingy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Emmy, midfield. Four was the midfield. Okay, so um, obviously it's four at the back. It's going to be four, two, three, one, right? Or four, four, two, or. Like if, 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 Emmy Bruce, bro. That's you, bro. Okay, okay. So, so, so the two centre midfielders will be um, Shelby and Isaac Hayden. Yeah, hundred percent. Sure, sure. Long stuff won't be near the starting eleven for me. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, what about he's, Matt? What about Matt? <laughs> Matt they're both already injured. out. They're, they're both injured. injured. And yeah, um, sure. Nabil Ben Taleb is just he, he's, he's quality on the ball. I can, I can see the quality he's got. Like if you put him in at Arsenal. Or a team that plays football who smash it, but um, I don't think he's got that energy for our midfield. So yeah, Shelby Hayden for me. Okay, okay. And then I suppose you can do a little combo, you, you and Emmy with midfield and and up top with Pete, because obviously they can't um, be together in it. And for me, so I, I, join I, as well, man. Join in, man. I, I, I follow their lead. <laughs> um, I, um, I go with what Emmy said. The 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 four two three one is yeah. what they're likely to play. So uh, th- those three, um, just behind the striker, will be uh, Amiron will be in the centre. He'll be in the centre and just floating, uh, using that space. Um, so maximum on the left goes without saying. Um, and then I, I, I'd go Lazaro. Um, mm. I'd go Lazaro on the right. Um, Starting, you start Lazaro. I'd start. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why not? You're you're at home. Um, look, one of the things that I didn't mention that, that's, that Bruce, Bruce has, has apparently said in the, in the last nine games he wants to go and attack. If you're going to attack, <laughs> you 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 want you want you want your best like you, your best attacking type of players. You'd want Lazaro in there because Lazaro played in the game against West Brom, where where we we okay they're in the they're in the division below but they're in the top two. Um, we look strong. We look strong. We look very strong. We look strong. We had pace. We had direction. Uh, and with those three, I, I'd, I'd go. I'd go with Lazaro. Sorry, Pete. Um, Pete, does that mean you're putting Joe Linton up top? Sorry. Does that mean you're putting Joe Linton up top? Um, at the moment, yes. Purely because um, Carroll's not 100 percent fit. I think he only played the last 20 minutes of the game against Hull. He didn't play against Middlesbrough. He didn't play in the in the eleven against eleven. So he he's not going to then come in and play ninety minutes because they're going to manage him. So I mean he he, he would he would start for me. Um, I I don't even I haven't seen anything of uh, Dwight Gale or whether he's even playing or not. 
Um, even in like some of the clips, we've not seen whether he's played or whether he's got any minutes under his belt. Whether he's, I think he might have even, I think someone mentioned uh, he, he, he got a niggle um, last week. So you you, you got to go with Joe Linton because he's the only one that's actually played in all the players. He's scored. He looks like he's 100 percent fit. All the others are not. So you know, I go with Joe Linton. I'm not putting Carroll up front right now. Hell no. I'll go with Joe Linton. I'm just, I'm kind of surprised Matt Ritchie doesn't make it because I feel like he, at least he works in it. Like, I feel like Cesaro is there for the I flick. Love Matt, I love Matt Ritchie. I really do. Uh, and he, work, he works hard. He's a leader on the pitch. But, you know, if, if we're, look, we're eight points uh, above the relegation zone and there's a number of teams for, uh, between us and uh, I think it's Bournemouth who looks in uh, it, the third from bottom. You know, if we want to, if we want to say right, we've got the next four games. Right, we've got Sheffield United at home. We've got Villa at home. We've got we've got the FA Cup in between, but then we've got um, Bournemouth away, and then uh, I can't remember the it's next. Spurs, isn't it? Was it Tottenham or? Um, might be. I, I'm, I'm yeah. not sure. Um, you know, those okay. Those three games in itself, you get the points in those three games. We get a couple of wins in those games. We're safe. We're comfortable. Why? Why not go for it? We've got an opportunity to really go at these teams. We don't know what these teams are going to have. They're going to perform against us, just like they know, don't know how they're going to perform against us. It gives us an opportunity to really go out and try and turn these teams over. It could backfire. I'm not saying it won't. It, 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 it will all. I'm not saying it will all fall into place. But if you've got an opportunity to really say, right, let's go, let's go for it. These teams are going to. Turn up to us like Sheffield United and think we're just going to sit back and defend. If we if we shot them and say right, we're going to attack you, that's going to put their back up. They're not going to know what, what's here. Hey, watch us sham about against those two teams and then beat City in the FA Cup. Typical Newcastle. 